Hey y'all, it is December the 15th, 2017, and y'all, I just wanted to make a quick video, um, because I understand that there's people out there who I affiliate myself with, and they concern themselves with bullying, things like cyberbullying, and things like this, and it's a very complex situation, um, I know that I, I tend to seem as though I'm kind of skirting the issue and playing it off when it comes to bullying and cyberbullying. But the reason that I say uh, to everybody that it's not exactly a, a clear avenue, it's not going to bring results necessarily, it's going to be largely distracting. The reason I say that is because it is very complex. It's a very complex situation and it's extremely nuanced. All right, um, and, and lots of times people don't have uh, they don't have clear understandings of what other people um, define their words as, or you know what I'm saying. I know that sounded kind of confusing, but sometimes people get offended by certain words because you know perhaps they think that there's a different meaning. Like s someone can use a word, any word. All right. And it could be benign. It could be totally harmless. The way that they said it, their intentions and everything like this. A uh, person B could hear the word, take it in, find it offensive, even though it was not meant to be. And automatically what that makes is person A into a bully. All right. Uh, just to throw out an example, and probably what's the best example, uh, one that I got reminded of right now. I was watching a video. With Jesse Lee Peterson, who is on fire, by the way. I mean, he just keeps... I mean, he, his YouTube uh, channel really, really is quite entertaining all by itself. Um, Jesse Lee Peterson, he was having a conversation with, uh, um, I guess you would say a friend. A person who's been on his show a couple of times. <clears throat> and basically, he, he was stating that for people to have uh, children to bear children outside of wedlock, which I know that's a touchy situation. He said, for uh, people to do that, that that particular behavior to have children outside of wedlock is retarded. It is mentally retarded, All right? And of course, of course, the comedian who he had on his show, Mr. Ty Barnett, he, he didn't take that necessarily well when um, Jesse Lee Peterson happened to say that most black folks... Now, this is Jesse Lee Peterson's words. He said most black folks have children outside of wedlock. Now, we know that that number is climbing up for every single person of every single shade, right? But he said he was talking about black folks in general. He said most black folks have children outside of wedlock, these days and that's a very big difference from back in the jim crow uh days you know there was actually a lot of black folks who were having children inside of wedlock and that's the main difference he said that the particular act and behavior of having children outside of wedlock is mentally retarded and so technically you can refer to the people doing it as mentally retarded now I know that in this day, a lot of people will look at people and say, oh, man, that's offensive. I can't believe he said that just because people choose to have children outside of wedlock, that that is mentally retarded. He's making fun of those people. He's trying to bully those people with words. All right. Now, I mean, as everybody knows, but I'll go ahead and clearly state on the record, I've had a child outside of wedlock. All right. You might think that I would get a little bit offended by that, by that statement. Uh, you might think that I would get all angry and upset and, and think, oh man, Jesse Lee Peterson is calling me a retard. All right. He, he's, he's verbally attacking me. He's bullying me. No, that's not the case. Actually, I've had a child outside of wedlock. You're not supposed to do it. My child is beautiful. All right. My child, uh, changed the world. She's magnificent. She shouldn't have been born out of wedlock. That was wrong. That was wrong for me to do. That was my decision, and it was wrong, and it was retarded. It was completely retarded because here's the thing. A lot of people lose sight of 
the definition of certain words, one such word would be retarded. What does retarded mean? Because here's the thing, I've known a lot of people, especially to include my ex-wife, and she had, uh, she was, she didn't like that word. And so don't use that word around her. If you knew her well enough, you knew not to use that word around her. But the thing is, once you got from away from her, that word comes back into play because we live in America and as free speech and the word has a definition. It's actually a useful, practical definition. All right. So quite simply, what a lot of people, when they hear the word retarded, and they're not offended by it. They don't feel bullied by it. They hear the word retarded. What does that mean in their brains? Well, I'll tell you what it means in my brain and a lot of other people's brains. Is <clears throat> you know how in society we try to come to solutions. We try to realize the mistakes that we're making and how we can make a better future for our children so that they can make a better future. All right. It's all solutions oriented. It all requires results it all requires better thinking than was taking place previous all right so it's a constant climb uphill that society is trying to do like in the case of Kayla Nicole Davis we don't want to see that case happen again it's been happening but we want to stop it we want to make sure that that retarded behavior uh, gets better you know what I'm saying we're trying to make a better future the word retarded uh, uh, although it's been given a totally different meaning of making fun of people and bullying people and it really never started off that way the word retarded means to do the opposite of have progress meaning like society might have figured out like in america we might have figured out hey let's use toilets hey let's wash our hands after we go to the restroom Right, we might not get sick so much like in other countries. You understand that in other countries that's not the case. All right, so can you imagine if in America we said, you know what, let's stop using toilets, let's all take shits in the street, uh, washing our hands, let's not even think about washing our hands, uh, we don't even need to do that no more. If we all collectively decided to do that, what we would be doing is retarded. We would be going backwards. And that's the whole definition of retarded. So it's, it's very practical to use the word retarded because it makes sense when you think about certain societal behaviors, personal human behaviors. And, and you see people who are doing stuff that we already learned that mistake from. We already understand as a society, we should be using toilets. We should be washing our hands until we find a better way to do it. That's the best way to do it, all right? If we were to decide today to go against that, that would be completely uh, uh, balls deep in retardation. That That is what retardation is. It is the process of going backwards, all right? And when some people choose to, you know, uh, do all sort of depraved things, go out there and totally forget why we have civilization, uh, you know what I'm saying, and go against the grain and just go backwards. There's, you could describe it in all sorts of different words. The best word is retarded. A lot of people will find that bullying. And you understand that if you're completely focused on bullying, just to say bullying in general, you understand how you're going to be, it's, a, it's, a, it's an, obvious and inevitable civil war that you're going to have up inside the movement against bullying because you got to understand that it'll fracture into two movements and they'll start bullying each other it's not going to go nowhere all right unless of course um if uh the definitions of bullying could be queer clearly clearly and concisely demonstrated which nobody's doing nobody's saying this is bullying and that's not bullying and this is bullying and that's not bullying and this is the textbook that says what is and isn't bullying instead what they're doing is they're just saying bullying in general meanwhile if bullying in general was a, a, to a totally terrible idea. If that was the case, then they would ban the word retarded and they would start banning all sort of other words. 
all right it's not going to get us nowhere but i'm definitely willing to talk to anybody uh and have an open dialogue about it and probably we will later and stuff because a lot of people are concerned about bullying and i'm concerned about it too i just would like for somebody to define what bullying is i'm kind of a stickler on that all right so i'll holler at y'all later it is december the 15th 2017 and i'll holler at y'all later